And hello there folks, this is your Uncle Troy. Today we are playing Minecraft Feed the Beast Minecraft uh, Mod Pack. And today we are going to make a titanium. Because I need titanium for some of my more advanced machines. And I was getting a lot of lag earlier, but now that I'm running around like an idiot trying to make lag, I don't have lag. So we're going to make titanium and... And it unhelpfully tells us if we want a titanium ingot, we have to do it by smelting a block of titanium. Or using a block of titanium in a powered furnace, or using a bunch of titanium nuggets, or titanium dust in an industrial blast furnace. doesn't really tell us how we make titanium, but if we go to titanium dust, we see that we can make titanium dust by combining tiny tiny piles of titanium dust which apparently can be created by putting bauxite dust into an industrial electrolyzer which also gives us aluminium dust which I've seen in some uh, some formulas so we have to make an industrial electrolyzer now this needs uh, some refined iron, which we have, some fancy advanced circuits or other uh, chipsets. We can, we can do that. And some blocks we don't have. Now an extractor, we've made those before. That's actually pretty easy with the electronic circuit, machine block, and tree taps. Backspace. Electrolyzer I've never made, but it apparently needs copper cable, empty cells, machine blocks. We do all that. And a magnetizer, which I've never made which apparently is a machine block, some redstone, and an iron fence, which is just refined iron. And the reason why I've not done this before is uh, when I would try to research titanium, it would say you have to do, do the uh, bauxite dust in electro industrial electrolyzer. But when I'd go to the industrial electrolyzer, it would say electrolyzer. Now when I pull this up on the wiki, it doesn't have this formula. It actually has something involving a diamond drill. And a diamond drill, unfortunately, requires titanium in the formula. So I would, you know, look up an electrolyzer, uh, see that it needed a diamond drill, look up diamond drill, see that, it, see that it needed titanium, and go round and around in a circle. But now I've discovered that at least in this version of the Minecraft mod pack, you do not need a diamond drill to make the electrolyzer. I'm not sure why you would need a diamond drill to make the electrolyzer to start with. Alright, so we're going to need a lot of refined iron, which I believe over here I have me about a stack of refined iron. Cool. We need a couple of pulsating chipsets, which I believe I have over here in my assembly table. Let's make that make another one. By the way, I finally figured out how to uh, automate this. Uh, I have six uh, lasers now powered by two electrical engines which are topped out on the uh, intricate circuit board and the uh, electron circuits which we covered in an earlier episode. And back here I have me a iron ore gate that says when work is scheduled send a redstone signal which sends a redstone signal to this block which turns off this uh, torch which turns on this block or something. Anyway. But basically it gets the signal up to here, which tells the uh, engines to trip on through this redstone here, which of course sends power to the lasers. Alright, and um, this takes 40,000 M joules per tick, or M joules, and we're up to 20, 25.2 Minecraft joules per tick. Um, these engines are putting out 14 apiece. So that's pretty close to maximum efficiency. Instead of 28, we're getting about 25 and a half. So we're losing about 10% somewhere. I think that's amongst all these uh, conductive pipes we're using. Alright, it started again, so that means it's finished and it's probably moving through the pipe. Yes, move through the pipe up into here. Yes. Cool. Alright, we're back to where we started. Now, what was I doing again? Industrial electrolyzer, 
we need an electrolyzer. So I need an electronic circuit. Do I have an electronic circuit here in my machine making supplies? Nope, I've got an advanced circuit. So we need an electronic circuit, which I think needs copper cable and a redstone and needs a whole lot and some refined iron. Needs a whole lot more copper cable. So we'll need to grab us some rubber and come over here and grab us some copper. Never have enough of this stuff. Copper cable. Good. Circuit. Blah, blah, blah. Let's try shift. Oh, wait. I think if I use some Electrum, I can get extras. And I have some Electrum. So we need to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Refined iron and some Electrum which gives us two electronic circuits. Now we need some empty cells and a machine block. A machine block is right there. I'm going to make two machine blocks because I think I'll need one later. And some empty cells which are four tin. So let's go grab some tin. Where is my tin? There's my tin. Empty cells. No, 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 no. Shift click, not working. So that means I either don't have everything I need for this recipe or this is one of the recipes that doesn't work with the shift click. Oh, and as we can see, I need one, two, three, four, and I only have three copper cables. So I need to make more copper cable. All right, now let's try shift click. And hey, we've got an electrolyzer. Now we need a extractor and a magnetizer. The extractor is... Electronic circuit, machine block, and one, two, three, four tree taps. Do I have any wood on me? No, we do not. Well, that's fine. We only have lots and lots of wood. One, two, three, four. I guessed perfectly. Well, and a little extra. We'll make this into stick so it'll stack with this here. Because we're running out of space in our inventory already. All right, electrolyzer. No, we need a extractor. Shift click. Ta-da. All right, so now we have our electrolyzer and our extractor. We also need a magnetizer, which needs another machine block and some iron fences. So another machine block would be our refined iron and iron fences. So now iron fence, iron fence, not electrolyzer, machine block, and some ta -da, magnetizer. Now, as you can see, our pole setting ship sets worked, although regular advanced circuits or some of these other items would have worked as well. We now have an industri industrial electrolyzer which needs 128 in and I was told that probably the best way to do this would be to uh, either feed it directly from its own uh, medium voltage converter or a not an MFSU but a MFE and the MFE um, puts out 128 energy units per tick which needs some gold cable some energy crystals and another machine block. Gold, gold cable, gold cable. Do I have gold cable? I have gold cable. Woohoo. And energy crystals. An energy crystal is just a diamond or ruby surrounded by a redstone. And uh, I haven't edited it, edited this uh, video yet, but. I eventually automated my creation of industrial diamonds. Okay, four of these surrounded by redstone. Gives us four energy crystals. Hello? Shift's clicking here. Nope. Alright, so either this is one of those formulas that doesn't work with the shift click or I've done something wrong. One MFE. And let's grab some extra glass fiber cable. So I think 
an MFE will accept more than oh let's see we'll put it out here I think an MFE will accept 512 if not this is going to explode when I do this it's, it exploded okay so it will not accept 512 alrighty so we have to make another one of those one MFE now this MFE we're going to put next to this medium voltage converter here and it does not explode and we're going to put one piece of uh, pipe here although we could put this right next to it but just in case I need to tap something else off here later so this needs some empty cells and some uh, stuff that we're going to be electrolyzing and let's use our uh, not refined iron our tin here let's just make several empty cells did not mean to make that many empty cells. That was probably way too much empty cells. Empty cells go here. Do we need water? Not sure what that's for. All right, let's get our bauxite. One stack of old bauxite. And I think we need to pulverize or macerate this first. That says it needs water. Do we have us a water bucket handy? We do. Nope. All right. Nope. Okay. I don't remember water when I was reading about this. Okay, where's our macerator here? Turn off this macerator. Let's uh, start my macerating, say, 16 of these boxites which should give us boxite dust hopefully woohoo t, t let's see t i l a titanium aluminum hydrogen oxygen i think is what that formula is there t i i think is titanium a l i think is aluminum so there's like one titanium 16 aluminum uh, 10 hydrogen and 12 oxygen in this, I think. Very, very confused by all this. Alright, almost finished. So apparently you only need 16 bauxite ores to make 64 bauxite dust. Hey, that's working. And our MFE is apparently taking in and putting out exactly 128, which is what we need. Our MFSU here is roughly holding its own with its nine charcoal fire power generators, which is fed by this contraption here, which I covered in an earlier episode, which involves an induction furnace and two generators and a whole lot of uh, redwood logs coming from a tree farm up above. Come on. All right, we're going to time lapse to the finish here. Alrighty, here we are. As you can see, we have picked up eight aluminiums, aluminiums, which is a misspelling of aluminum as far as I'm concerned. A tiny pile of titanium dust, some hydrogen cells, which will work in a gas turbine or a liquid-fueled firebox, and compressed air cells, which apparently is good for nothing. Now, aluminium... Now, over here, I have been storing my aluminum. Americans produce that, pronounce that aluminum. I'm not sure exactly how we spell it, but I know my British friends pronounce it aluminium. So now we have tiny piles of titanium dust, and I think if we collect two or four of those, we can make titanium see titanium yeah tiny four tiny piles makes one titanium dust now turning titanium dust into titanium ingots however requires an industrial blast furnace hmm didn't think this far ahead 
Industrial blast furnace, which needs, oh my lord, a couple of induction furnaces. I know how to make those. Any of various electronic circuits. Okay. Steel machine, advanced machine block, titanium machine hull, one of those. And cupro, nickel, or copper we have. Nickel, I don't think I've ever seen. Ferrous, however. Where have I seen, have I not seen some ferrous ore? Ferrous ore. Okay, I assume ferrous ore can be turned into ferrous ingots. Industrial blast furnace, he's cooper, coop, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ferrous ingot needs an induction smelter. Requires Invar. Invar requires an induction smelter to make. I don't have an induction smelter, so I can't make an induction smelter. Sheesh. I'm going to have to research some more. Alloy smelter, huh? Alloy smelter. An alloy smelter requires Invar and a Coupatronic or a Coupa a Cupra. Blah, 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 blah. We will have to do some more research and get back to you later. But hey, I've gotten at least this far to titanium dust. And yeah, I need a nap. Right. Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.